You know what reeks of utter desperation? Going in and changing the name of your movie because, oh my God, somebody might actually see it then. Hey there, so today we are returning to that wonderful world of movies to laugh a little bit at Birds of Prey because, again, we are talking about utter desperation here. If you look at this article from comicbook.com, they talk about Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn not being a good title. And I have to agree, actually, that that is a terrible title for a movie. I wouldn't want to go see that movie because it sounds like something that wants to preach at me. So now they think a name change will be in order. Harley Quinn Birds of Prey, that's going to help out the movie. The problem with this way of thinking is it doesn't actually address the issues that have come up with this. I mean, if you look in front of you here, this is Disney Star Wars is Dumb dot WordPress dot com, ran by one Ichibaka. They do a good collection of how this movie was put together and advertised, and well, just look at what's here in front of you. Stop me if you've heard this one before. They told us that Birds of Prey wasn't made for us, but can they tell us who it was made for exactly? I mean, if you look at the talks about sales here, you see article after article saying Birds of Prey soars past Suicide Squad and Wonder Woman with first day pre-sales. You know, it's hyped up. So they say that all of this, this ranting and all of these buzzwords that they sold on, it's actually doing well. Birds of Prey tickets pre-sales outsold Suicide Squad and Wonder Woman on first day. Again, going out and hyping this. And remember the way that they hyped that is they took this generic place, this place no one had heard of, and they used that as a source. Birds of Prey outsell Suicide Squad and Wonder Woman in day one ticket pre-sales. Again, going with that. I mean, you see Every network picking this stuff up. Film News Roundup, Birds of Prey, see strong first day pre-sales. And those types of headlines, those types of lies, embolden Hollywood to say, hey, we can advertise just like this. Human McGregor telling us that Birds of Prey is an ist movie, and it explores what again? Oh yeah, going out and getting in front of the pulpit. Now this leads to a different roundup, and that that's pictures of showing desolate theaters saying that this thing is not going to sell. I mean, if you look at this in front of you, there's not one ticket sold. My local theater here in Gresham, Oregon, USA, showing Birds of Prey on Saturday at 9 p.m. Looks pretty dead to me. This film is going to flop hard. Literally nothing but empty seats. Not a single one sold for a weekend evening. Not one. Well, they do have that that they're thinking about, but it's not been sold. Birds of Prey, available seats at my local theater theater 7 p.m. showing tonight completely empty birds of prey ain't looking so good i mean look at that there too that is absolutely terrible so birds of prey is going to be the lowest grossing dc film and here we see the ticket sales of today's uh, 2100 hour screening in my local theater it's F uh, first weekend Friday, and it's almost empty. And it has kind of a PG-16 rating here. So you can see exactly how that one sets up. So Birds of Prey is going to be the lowest growth or even better, I checked opening night tonight at 9 p.m. And yep, clear as crystal, dead in the water. You know, I actually feel bad for my local regional theater, wasting all those resources to play a film to an opening theater. I have to agree, that's awful there. Confused to how reports are saying Birds of Prey will have $42 million opening weekend when the theaters are empty. That's very good there, too. And you get this, I mean, over and over, people showcasing empty seats when you have the lie that this movie is selling. See, that's the thing. People buy into that, too. They buy into the idea that this movie is going to do well, and especially, you know, those people that are marketing it. Oh, man, you know, hey, we're listening to our own hype, and that that's bad. Now, that, of course, has led to the current numbers that you see in front of you. Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, setting at a domestic box office of $33 million dollars currently international box office of 48 million for a worldwide box office of 81 million on a movie with a 75 million dollar budget and a need to make double that just to break even remember too as we always say with domestic box office 
45% best to put in your pocket. International, 45% best to put in your pocket. If you look at the box office here as well, it's starting to wind a little bit. It's still going to make money, but this is not a good trend. If you look at how it's growing each day, the growth rate here, oh, that, that says that this movie is dead in the water. Internationally, you still have some growth, but if you look at where is reporting, uh, that's not good either. Now, that, of course, leads to the blame game, and you've had everything out there blamed. From men, you've had uh, negative press, to what's in front of you here, talking about a certain virus, destroying Margot Robbie's film, Birds of Prey, as the superhero movie stumbles at the box office, despite its positive review. Even the article talking about changing the name comes up with other reasons for this. Conversations have swirled online about why Birds of Prey was not uh, met with huge ticket sales in theaters for the first weekend in February, with much of the speculation pointing toward an R rating hindering a younger audience from buying tickets. You know, because that totally killed the Joker. Oh wait, it made a billion dollars. The film was met with impressive reviews, getting certified fresh on the review aggregate site uh, Rotten Tomatoes. It would seem the film was intended to be an R-rated romp, but may have tested better with younger audiences, therefore never released a red band trailer or embraced its sometimes violent, often foul-mouthed adventure in its marketing. Uh-huh. Everything is to blame out there. And Rotten Tomatoes, if you're listening to them, you're going to probably fail nine times out of ten anyhow. So you tell me, does changing the name work? Does this help you out? For me, I say no, that the movie is still the movie, and there's nothing going to bring people in. I mean, you have people that know that this is a Harley Quinn movie, so putting that front and center, it's not going to change things. Really, what you had here is advertisement that killed this movie. Absolutely did. And you can blame it on anything else out there, but really, Ultimately, you have the uh, places that put it together, the advertisement firms, and of course you have places that are putting together these articles trying to defend it because nobody wants to see the tribe that they're pushing. But anyway, you tell me what you think about this. Ending briefly, just very briefly too, I want to thank you for your time and your participation. That, it actually, it means everything there. If you want to sub to the channel, awesome, but you spent your time here, so I want to thank you for that. And I'll leave you with that, saying, hey, we'll be doing this again soon.